Yeah, we started in Germany about five, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, and we had uh, seven days off. And we've been out about two or three weeks now. And Ricky and I stay in the bubble. We don't. A couple of the other guys will go home, and I they did that a couple of years ago. <clears throat> like tonight, I could go home and just go. But I get home and they're on a different time thing. They're all in bed. Then I get up, or, or they get up, and I'm in bed. And then I have to eat at two o'clock. That means say they're getting the wife to. So I just stay in the bubble, and I don't want to come back if I go out. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Well, it's good fun when you get used to it. Drive you nuts. Yeah. Hello, Barbara. Hello, darling. Hey, you darling. Lovely. Yeah, I'm all right. It's vastly different, really, from uh, from normal life, being in the bubble, because uh, it doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't really matter what time it is. I mean, as long as you leave on time. After that, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Monday is the first day you start, which was yesterday, I think. Today's hump day. It's the middle day, and tomorrow's Friday. Because then we die off after that, so we get. I put a crunch in the fridge on the bus, and I eat the thing. Because <laughs> I think, oh, look what I could do on a day off. This is not good. Rocky wanted him to shake your hand, and then he oh, went God. off. Lovely. Yeah, you should have a motorway album. Thank you, Carl. I want to see motorway or something. Oh, did you? Where did you go? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs> Yeah. Time sort of doesn't exist really, you just, you get on the bus, you know, you, you go to the gig, you eat, you sit around, you do the sound check, you do the gig, you get back on the bus, you go to the hotel, sometimes it's a three, four hour journey, doesn't really matter, you know. One, two... The worst things at the moment are four and a half hour journeys. Two to three hour journeys are fine. It means you can get in, get checked in, and get to sleep at a reasonable time, get some sort of life. At the moment, last night, last night was about four and a half hours, so maybe it's a bit late. But it just most days go like that. And I like to, I'm, I love a routine like that. In fact, I get quite freaked out if the routine gets messed. You know, for I think I said that TV we did the other night, they wanted us to go on half an hour earlier, uh, 15 minutes earlier, which again messed our routine. That meant we had to. Oh! I said it there, I like it. No. Um, you didn't have your mouth, did you? No, not your mouth, yeah, I know. Let's see, he loves me, look. Bought me a wing. They bought a bus. Outside. Half the time, and I don't mean this that we're stupid, but you don't know what day it is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what day it is, really, because, you know, most days are like the the next one or the one before. It's it's just a, a routine of gigging. I prefer to go to an unsmoking restaurant. Yeah, I'll get my judo, I just don't smoke it. It's not possible yeah. to go on it smoke. No, yeah. it's a thing, isn't it? If you yeah. can't do it... Yeah, it's no problem, no. Part a second, you think, I would... No, 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 no. You just got to pretend you're on a jet. Yeah. You know, I think all restaurants should have the sound of jets in the background. <laughs> right? Like a simulator. I've been watching all the West Wing at the moment. I'm really into watching West Wing. I've watched all the Sopranos, all series of Sopranos. I watched all the series of 24. And I watched all of the series of, or the last series of Sex in the City recently, because the, the wardrobe lady liked it, so I thought I'd have a look at that. So you, you get all these little things to pull you through. At the moment, it's um, West Wing. I'm really into that at the moment. I don't watch stuff like that at home. I sit and diddly in front of the telly. I waffle a lot, don't I? Hope you got your cameraman agreed. That's it. I don't want to do it anymore. Eighteen <laughs> across. Eighteen across. from the go near? Any times? Not yet. We're still doing the top. Jennifer Jane. Come on, Johnny. You got twenty-four across. You give me this. Ostrich. No, I don't think that's glass. I think that's the air go. Oh, okay. Because it's you twenty across, isn't it? What's the cutting number? You're in it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Class. Yeah. On the day off, it's kind of nice because you, for fear of getting recognised, you put a, a beanie on, you know, and tuck your hair up and go out and do a bit of Christmas shopping or whatever. That's the only time, really, that the routine changes. Apart from that, it's the same every day. And it's, it's kind of good, I suppose, really, because it's like a machine, you know, it works. 
But I think it's 18 then is, is floppy, but... No, yeah, it sounds like all flabby. Okay, so what does that make? Um, mm. Tomorrow night on the bus, when we get on the bus, totally different than it is any other night. And the day off, if you see anybody, people are kind of... Hi, how are you? Everyone's kind of... Oh, isn't it lovely not to do? And you, could, you, you wake up differently on the day off. It's peculiar. We're now uh, look at 14 down. Mediterranean, yeah, blank Y, blank R, blank Y. Actually, it might be our double FA, but it's irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah. S-I-P-R-U-S. Yeah. No, it's not double S. Oh, there's a Y in it. Yeah, blank Y, blank R, blank Y. It's a, it's a long tour, this. It's, you know, two, two months nearly on the road. And you get home and it's so wonderful, you know, you get back to your big tellies and your nice sofas and bits and pieces, you know, and general home life. Yeah, I just fester at home, I like, I think it's one of, the, one of the best things about being in this business is we always look forward to going home. Most people go home every night. I'll get this thing and I'll be home at Christmas or whatever it is, you know. Two or three weeks later, dun, 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 dun. when are we going to get out on the road again? Let's go, you know, and let's do something. So it really balances itself out wonderfully for me, you know, I get home, it's great, get back on the road, it's great. Where's chicken and herb garlic? Beautiful. Everywhere else is very lovely, anyway. Do they? You want some donuts? Yes. So the two minutes away, apparently. OK. Found your loose post to this year. You've got to see if there's a fucking donut around. Really. I'll be with him 16 years now. 16 years last of October. October the 11th, 1989, I started. And he's been tour manager for the last four, something like that. Um, he's a good man, he gets it all done. We basically start at 8 in the morning, and uh, we have to be ready for when the band coming for a sound check at 5. And throughout the day, there's uh, certain points that certain things happen. First thing in the morning, the, uh, the rigging will go in. Then the lights will uh, get flown on the rigging. Then the, uh, the PA will come in, that'll get flown. Then the band's gear comes in, monitors, front of house. And then you do a line check, and the band will do a sound check, then you'll finish, then you'll have dinner. Then they'll open the doors, then you'll do the show. And then you've got to put it all away again. Nothing's uh, too much for Dave. He, he, he's very good. Everybody respects him. Trucks, buses, hotels, booking the crews. Um, and the infrastructure just basically goes around the gig. Currently we've got three trucks, 45 footers, three buses, hell of a lot of backline, rigging, PA, lights, you name it, we've got it, catering, wardrobe, production office, this is where we are right now, tumble dryer, and lots of people, touring uh, 45 people at the moment. If we turned up to do a gig at midday, it'd still be ready by five when the band came. But it was, you know. Work expands to time allowed. <laughs> and last trust driver, you and I used to get there every day and beat into the jam donuts, and I shouldn't be eating things. So don't go down and upset me. Don't get them. Look at your pretty nose. No. No. I've got to eat it now. I can't. No, please don't. Hi, please. Oh, it's slightly better, don't I? All right. I'm stage with you. No fun, that. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. See you.